a new empire has arisen. All right, guys, um, normally I do the coffers with a nice setup, but uh, I am literally recording this the day after Christmas, and we had uh, a bunch of family members over, so you'll have to excuse me. My normal setup is stashed away, and uh, I wanted to get this out, so it's going to look a little hackneyed. I apologize. You're seeing the lamp in the back and all that, but... I managed to get my hands on one of the brand new Godzilla vs. Kong, the New Empire Playmates figures. Uh, I am out in the greater Los Angeles area. Managed to find one um, out and about. This was the only one they had. Uh, I was told by uh, people at Walmart that, well, there will be more coming. So uh, I don't know if someone else bought them or if some employee may have grabbed them, but uh, yeah. So I figured I'd just get a quick review up because, well, it's the first of the new line. And um, yeah, so this this is going to be a little more raw-ish review than I'm normally doing, but I wanted to get it out there. I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to pop this bad boy open and we're going to check it out. Now, before I pop it open, let's get a good look at the box. There's Kong and Godzilla Evolved. Look down there. Just get a good look. So there's the Evolved. I apologize because, um, again, I don't have my normal setup, so I'm just kind of holding the camera here. So let's get a good look right here. So there's Godzilla in there. This is the 6-inch one. So this is the box. So it's on a peg. And then let's flip it to the side. You got that. And then you got the crystals, which I'm assuming is going to play a big role in why Godzilla is pink. So here's the back. Let's get a look at all of that. So I'm going to try to add a couple of shots in here. Then we'll zoom in and see what the other is offering. So this guy I hadn't seen yet. Uh, so it looks like there's a slightly different mold of the previous Godzilla that they put out uh, for Godzilla vs. Kong. Then you got Kong with the Beast Glove and it looks like an Osprey, which they're reusing from the last line. There's uh, Suko, the little Kong, with a little Doug. So keep an eye out for that guy. There's Scar King with his uh, whiplash. And then there's Shimo, which, uh, yeah, the all the talk because it wasn't, you know, kind of the worst kept secret of this movie. So that is the back of the box. That is the box itself. Give you guys a good look. The bottom. Sorry. There's everything else. All right. Pause. I'm going to come back with this thing open. So see, I got it out. Here's something nice I liked about this edition. Is that, as you can see, Playmates, instead of ruining your box, just simply... So the fire breath is just gingerly placed, so you don't have to rip the whole plastic 
out of the damn box. Ah, let me get out of there. There we go. Okay. Made just a huge mess doing this one here. Okay. There we go. Out of the box. Let's assemble. Okay. So here are your three pieces. Tail, body, heat ray. And of course, we got this annoying little thing, which means we are going to have to get the hair dryer, heat it up, pop that that sucker in there. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then come right back. Okay, a little more loose. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one-handed. Sorry, again, kind of rushing this. Yeah. All right, tails in. It's a little, a little difficult, but there is the figure. All right, so let's take a deeper look. There is the tail. As you can see, it's much more rubbery than the rest of the body. The body is a hard plastic, much like the other Playmate figures. Take a look at the arms, also hard plastic. The elbow spikes are not colored in, which is shocking. And he has this stance, as you can see. That's about the only way he'll stand up. So articulation in the legs and in the feet, which I can't remember if that was on the last line. I don't recall. I'm assuming there was. And you have minor articulation in the jaw. The jaw is rather stiff. It does have a hinge. The neck has a little bit of movement, but I don't think it's meant to move. As you can see, it's kind of base coloring on the arms. The head is pretty much um, a softer mold than the rest of the body. Like I said, the body is a hard plastic. Let's look at the tail. Godzilla's got these cool stegosaurus looking spikes at the end of his tail now. As you can see, it is a completely different paint job from the rest of the body. The main spikes are a clear plastic, so um, you can put a light next to them and they will light right up, but they don't do anything else other than that. And as you can see in the head, very different. So the paint job on the belly, pretty modest for a Playmates figure. You get a much more close up on the jaw. As you can see, the jaw is fairly rubbery as well. It's also very stiff, but a uh, little movement gets it on there. Let's look at the heat ray effect. So it's basic plastic. Took me a minute to figure out how in the heck this thing goes in. And then I realized there's a hole in the top of the head. So let's get this bad boy in there. So like that. And there we go. I had to put the phone down for a minute so I can properly get it in there. And that's the heat ray effect. So there you go. This is the whole shebang right there. Pretty much it is on par with the Godzilla vs. Kong figures um, from 2000 or 2021. And there he is in all his glory. I'm going to let you guys take a look at the back of the box art again one more time. All right, so overall thoughts, um, yeah, it's a kid's toy. Uh, when I reviewed the Godzilla vs. Kong figures a couple of years back, when those started leaking out, I saw a lot of people complaining about the quality. You gotta remember, these are kid's toys, and I guarantee SH Fig Arts, Bandai, everybody else will have their versions coming out later in the next year. But for right now, if you're a fan, these are cool, but they are meant for kids. So, 
do take that into consideration. But as kids' toys go, I mean, for 10 12 bucks, they're not bad. Uh, I, I actually did dig the, uh, the Godzilla vs. Kong line. This is kind of what Playmates does best. You know, it's not a expensive toy for, you know, what you get. And at six inches, this is perfect for any kid. Um, and if you guys can't wait for anything in your collection, these would be the best way to go about it. So, there you go, guys. That is the first look at the Godzilla x Kong, the new empire playmates figures i'm hoping to get a couple more of these in the next few weeks um i'm keeping an eye out and i got some friends helping out but until then we do have a show uh the kaiju kingdom podcast you can listen uh on our website the kaiju kingdom podcast.com or uh on any of your favorite streamers as you'll see at the at the end and if you like what you see like and subscribe or don't I don't know. I'm not your parent. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But on that note, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time.